Hi guys, welcome. Today in this video we will model the sheet metal part. Let's open a new part and step by step build together. We select a new part and on new part we click top plane and in the pop-up menu I select sketch and from here I pick a rectangle I place something like this on my screen and I pick smart dimension here 200 here 125 then we close sketch sheet metal tab base flange and I define here one and a half millimeter thickness and the rest stays how it is because I modeled this earlier the configuration could be already set up in my uh, system if you want to change your bending radius you can define your override default parameters and assign a one and a half millimeter bending radius the material thickness the bending radius somewhat same it's a good convention to start with of course depending on the, your tool makers the available tools this will vary. then I pick an edge flange I select this edge I select this edge simply we will select four edge and here height will be 70 and after this we close now I will little bit close the edges here corners close corner this option will be selected thickness is 005 the gap in fact and faces to extent it will ask me to edge when I click it will automatically pick the other one but it might not be always the instance you might you may choose everything individually but it works okay here nice we close it this uh, why we made this uh, during welding the closed edge will be better and internal surface will be cleaner if you can't do that you will have some visual problems inside after welding so edge flange again we select to edge as we did earlier 20 millimeter is good and we close it now I will look this the surface normal to and create here a sketch sketch surface is selected we say a sketch and I will pick from here a corner rectangle so here something like this I will draw and the thickness here will be 8 here the thickness will be uh, 5 and for now it is good and then we will continue to next step and I assign two construction line here to be able to make mirror operation mirror entities select this one mirror about this and then we select this two mirror about this now uh, this operation is good we will cut this surface thickness will be 1.5 but we will use a trick because if you make 1.5 and then extend this edge after it which will be next operation 1.5 surface will be combined edges we will not want that and then we say one and a half thickness cut it now I look normal to I come here I open on the top plane another sketch and I define here another uh, sketch it's a rectangle so first here the thickness so this is an offset because uh, sheet metal cutting process have a certain uh, tolerance cutting tolerance I define it and I want to make sure that when I'm done with this operation uh, I mean after cutting things are fitting each other so this is good we had an early sketch and I show it in fact I can pick my two old axes from here I convert them I make them construction geometry 
and hide the old one. So we copy, we don't want to be, I don't want to drive, we draw it again. Mirror entities, this is selected. Mirror about this. So now this two is going to come, but we will remove this one. And this will be here, a mirror. Yes, it is good. Let's look what we do. And now we close the operation. Features, extrude post space, let's say link to thickness, and edge is not combined. Try it. For example, make this depth the, uh, 150 and repeat this operation, and you're going to see what I mean. So, this is done. We look again from top, sketch, center rectangle. Something like this, AD, one uh, AD, and this is good, AD by 180, and I'm saying cut, link to thickness is a good option, now they are cut it, fill it, we will use a 10 uh, radius 10 so I pick edges stubborn without zooming out trying to pick them so there is a nice option in Solidbox it can let you allow uh, to select an uh, edge invisible edge in fact radius 10 here took place and then I will put a uh, radius 5 here I cannot select little bit zoom in yeah here now a radius 5 yes it looks nice I will remove this sharp edge it will be a nice to put there a uh, one millimeter radius because after the welding will take place already this surface will be grinded an edge and uh, yeah so anyway it's good to uh, not have sharp edges yes and last step we will cut our holes now we look from the surface normal tool and I create here a sketch I would like to start first with a line a vertical line placed midsection to midsection then I will take a rectangle yes good so here I will assign a 10 millimeter distance. Here I will do the same. Because it is symmetrical, it will automatically define our side. But here we don't have that symmetricity. And I will say here as well 10. Nice. And we close this sketch. Features, linear pattern, fill pattern. So fill boundary will be this, and a direction will be asked for to me. Say this is direction. Create seed cut. So we don't draw anything. Just say, hey, we have a. We're gonna use a, a normal section from here, and I will say here, this is five, and this area will be filled with given parameters. Uh, by this uh, future and I'm fine with that and it will cut for me all edges and surfaces yes we have it and we can hide this and we can change display state and maybe about flat pattern it is here and press will activate the flat pattern yes it is good. That was it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please make a comment and uh, see you in another video.